National Coming Out Day brought hundreds of people of the gay community to San Francisco today. This is the 10th year for the event. It was hosted by Candace Gingrich, stepsister to House Speaker Newt Gingrich. And she talked about the gay community's commitment to vote in the upcoming midterm elections. Also on head, Betty DeGeneres, mother of comedian Ellen DeGeneres. We've got to be engaged. In Laramie are not like that. In Wyoming, people today mourn the savage beating of university student Matthew Shepard. It is believed the attack on him is a hate crime, that he was beaten only because he is openly gay. The 21-year-old was found severely pistol-whipped and tied to a fence outside town last week. He remains in critical condition tonight, and doctors say his condition is worsening. Four people now are arrested in connection with the attack. Russian President Boris Yeltsin trip to the former Soviet Republic of Uzbekistan was cut short because of his ill health. This story tops news around the world tonight. During the two-day trip, both countries are expected to sign a 10-year agreement on economic cooperation. Officials say regional security issues will also be discussed. Two men in China are now in prison for legally cutting down trees. Now, logging is now illegal because it is blamed as a major cause in China's devastating floods this year, which killed several thousand people. Reversing the damage is expected to take decades. The government has committed more than $2 billion to help find former lumberjacks new jobs. Keep it right here. Don Slater is next with the weather. The more you know about food safety, the more you want to shop at Farm Fruit. Hours ahead of the storm. Here's Don Slater with Super Doppler 10 weather. And we're going to get right into things, have a look at what's out there, and uh, take a look first of all at cloud cover. It's been a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Let's go to it. Uh, some of the cloud cover from 24 hours ago, moving on out of the region, thankfully. We had a very nice day today. A little bit of cloud cover across the eastern shore. Not expected to do all that much. Quick look at Super Doppler 10, the Super Doppler 10 radar network. And again, all is quiet. These green blobs that you're seeing in Richmond, really just uh, ground clutter going on. Again, a nice, clear, cool night. Taking a look at a little bit wider picture, we'll look for any rain that might be out there. Nope. You can see some on up toward New England, uh, way on up toward Minnesota. But that is the closest rain. There's nothing really going on in terms of rainfall, but we're going to see some action uh, take place eventually. Again, that upper level low moving on off. That was the reason we had some cloud cover yesterday. That's been moving on away. Uh, you'll also notice a bit of a cold front out toward Minnesota. This could be affecting our weather by about Tuesday night or Wednesday, and we'll show you how things should be moving. First of all, on our future track computer model, between tonight and midnight on into Tuesday evening, again, a little bit of cloud cover as expected across the eastern shore. Could see some off and on thin clouds across the region. Nothing too awfully much as a little bit of a backdoor cool front drops in. And again, that cool front all well on off to the west could slide eastward and create a few scattered clouds by Tuesday night and Wednesday. But again, nothing too serious. Again, a uh, closer view, a more localized view between tonight and midnight or Monday morning midnight on into Tuesday evening. A light north to northwesterly wind overnight tonight. And again, a few stray clouds off of this, but nothing too awfully much. Just some thin clouds. Uh, there's where we are tomorrow uh, evening, by around 9 o'clock in the evening, on into Tuesday morning, and then on into Tuesday evening. Again, more of an easterly wind flow, east to southeasterly wind flow, starting to warm things up. Don't worry so much about this cloud cover. Uh, it looks very, very pleasant. In terms of uh, what's going on out there right now, here's a look at our, uh, here's a look at our tower cam, and we're just kind of looking at boat traffic, basically, because, uh, again, skies are clear as a bell. No real cloudiness going on out there, and there's not all that much boat traffic either. Our uh, uh, current conditions right now through the area, clear skies, in Norfolk at 62 degrees, Newport News 57. There was a low last night, 56. We're going to drop close to that again tonight. High today 71. Dew point is low, uh, fairly low, and gives us a, a low to moderate relative humidity. Winds are n almost non-existent. The barometer is holding steady. Temperatures across the region look like this. Water temperature is at 70 degrees. That's dropped a degree. Air temperatures close to the water around the 60 degree mark, but well inland, dropping on off to around 55. 50 uh, inland, 58 degrees. Wide range of overnight low temperatures in the Hampton Roads area tonight. Northerly winds at 5 to 10. If you're right along the water's edge, especially with this north wind in Ocean View and north end of Virginia Beach, you'll be up at that end. Most of us, though, between about 50 and 55. 72 inland, 68 along the coastline for tomorrow. Tomorrow night, mostly clear. 52 inland, 58 along the coast. And by Tuesday, 70 to 72 degrees. A little bit more cloudy. There's partly cloudy skies. There is our five-day outlook. Again, temperatures generally between 70 and 74, 75 degrees. And if you want to take a quick check on the weather or Super Doppler 10, Cable Channel 42 in Matthews County. Dynamite weather forecast. It's a terrific weather yeah, forecast. Thanks so much. Appreciate you being here. Give it here. Chris is next with sports.
This weekend, discover a whole new world at Ward's. This is heaven. <laughs> because this weekend, you can discover all our newest styles. Everything's so soft. And get great savings on all of them. On every piece of wow. furniture. On every appliance you set your sights on. This is absolutely wonderful. And we'll deliver it right to your door. Absolutely free. I'll take it. We're changing everything to change your mind. This segment of Wavy News 10 is brought to you by Nations Bank. History came to life today in Houston as people there got the chance to learn more about the Native American culture. The 9th Annual Texas Championship Powwow in Houston recreated the dances, the sounds, and the wonders of the Native American roots through competitions. Events included teepee building, fancy war dances, and crafts. The two-day event showcased Native Americans of all ages. That is it for us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Good night. Virginia Power is proud to sponsor Hampton Roads local weather station. Disney on Ice presents for the first time ever the full-length production of The Little Mermaid. Wavy TV 10 and the Daily Press invite you to get tickets for only $10 to opening night, Wednesday, October 28th at 7 o'clock. Buy your tickets at the box office and Ticketmaster or call to charge by phone. Come and join us under the sea as Disney on Ice presents The Little Mermaid, playing the Hampton Coliseum October 28th through November 1st. You're watching the station on your side. Wavy TV 10. 10 on your side gets results. And people know that, and that's why they continue to call 10 on your side. Wavy Super Doppler 10 Radar Network, only on the station on your side. Cheers is filmed before a live studio audience. During my senior year in high school, I was recognized as a Hampton Roads Young Achiever. Receiving such an honor has been a motivator in helping me to reach my goal of becoming an architect. Six years later, I have earned a master's degree in architecture from the University of Virginia and am employed by a distinguished architecture firm. Honor a young person you're proud of by nominating them to become a Hampton Roads Young Achiever. Call or write Wavy TV for a nomination form. You're right. Time out. Football food ought to be as great as a game, don't you see? Kick her off like this. <laughs> Let KFC Delivery put some really good food on your tailgate. Call now and get a bucket of new extra crispy chicken. Double dipped and double breaded, it's the crispiest, crunchiest KFC ever. And now 10 pieces are only $8.99. Why not score some for your team? It's so good you'll be doing one of them excessive displays. Flag on the play. At KFC, we do chicken right. At a right good price, too. A chance to schedule your own hours, work in the comfort of home, and earn as much as $20 an hour. This Suffolk mom thought she had found the perfect opportunity, but something went wrong. People just need to know to check out a uh, business before they go ahead and do something like this, because I really think that we might have been taken advantage of here. Was it a scam or just a misunderstanding? Find out what you need to know about home business hazards, only on Wavy News 10, Monday at 5. Ten on the side. I had purchased some money orders that were stolen, forged, and cashed, and I could not get the money back. The police wouldn't get involved in it at all, and nobody would let me speak with any supervisors or um, with the forgery department at the money order place, and Ten on your side helped me to get my money back. Ten is on your side. Ten on your side. I guess us girls like a football team. Nah, just make a better diversion, that's all. Oh, is that so? Oh, why don't we take our tops off, guys? That'll be a good diversion. Yeah, I won't count on it in your case, Breaker. Stop your yapping, get in the holler, run the place. Let's go! go.
on the next salary. Fun is in the air when Robert Townsend drops by to show off his new moves. Plus, from the hit show Getting Personal, John Cryer. Somebody said your father was an American gigolo. My father was? He, no, he, they said he was an American gigolo. It was not in American gigolo. Why do I feel like Jerry Springer all the time? <laughs> Plus, how he goes one-on-one -on -one with the youngest black belt in the world. Whoa! See what all the fuss is about on Howie. Monday at 3, only on Wavy TV 10. They married for better or worse, for richer or poorer, for smaller or... I knew her chest was going to get bigger, but I didn't realize her head was going to grow so much. Next, Jenny Jones. Their wives improve their bodies. So I'm going to show them to anyone I get the chance to. But not their relationship. Are you even allowed to touch them? Yeah, I'm allowed to touch them. That's not what she said. Still, there is a bright side. We all know that she's never going to die from drowning. Next, Jenny Jones. Money.